Welcome to this Turnitin assignment video around the new feedback studio for Turnitin. If you've used Turnitin in the past, uh, the new version does look slightly different but it functions essentially exactly the same way. So when you log into Moodle and go to a Turnitin Dropbox, as you can see on screen at the moment, it will now load up something that's called Feedback Studio, and this is still Turnitin, as you know. The first time you log in, you will see the Feedback Studio Quick Tour. If you follow this through, it will take you through all the new changes, showing you what the layers are, allowing you to overlay either your originality report or feedback. You can review your overall feedback and overall similarities. It will tell you all about how to view the original source in text and what this all means and where you can download the work and take a copy of it for your records. So when you're ready, click Get Started and it will take you to your submission. You can also get more information from uh, their user manual section at Turnitin. So you're able to zoom in and out uh, at the bottom right of the screen to give you more or less of your, your uh, information. And then just like in your old Turnitin, it is all there down the side in a, a much more condensed um, sort of option and navigation. But if you are unsure about what, what it looks like, at the bottom of the page you can change to the classic view. So this is what you may be more familiar with with Turnitin. If you wish to try Feedback Studio, it's at the top. Try the new Feedback Studio and it will revert you to the Feedback Studio. Feedback Studio is very good for uh, mobile devices. So this will allow you to view it on any device without having to install or download the Turnitin app that you might have had to do on an iPad previously. You've got all these standard filters, settings, and like I say, uh, feedback from before. And choose which layers are overlaid or not by just simply ticking the layer you wish to see. So you can see this report has a 98% originality match to another document within the Turnitin databanks. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.